Hello, my name is Chris Hume with the Lancaster Patriot, and I have an update on the Amos Miller story. Well, as you know, the state of Pennsylvania is going after Amos Miller with everything they have. They detained some of his property, seized some of his property, and recently filed a civil lawsuit against Amos and his wife, essentially trying to cripple his business and prevent him from serving his neighbors as he has been doing for years, serving his neighbors outside of the control of the government outside of the reach of big ag, providing an alternative to customers who do not want to buy the food from the grocery store that is approved by the government and yet filled with chemicals and additives. Amos represents an escape from that. He represents self-government and freedom. And the state of Pennsylvania, run by statists and tyrants, cannot abide that, and so they are going after Amos with everything they have. The update I have for you today relates to the civil lawsuit um, that has been filed against Amos by the state of Pennsylvania. It's the Office of Attorney General of the state of Pennsylvania and the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. I'd like to read a statement that Amos and his wife put out uh, and the staff there at Amos Miller's Organic Farm. And I want to read this email. This was sent out to the members. I'd like you to hear it just in case you're not a member of Amos's farm. And I think you should hear this. Dear members, Below is a list of our currently available products, including pork, beef, water buffalo, seafood, baked goods, and vegetables. We appreciate all who continue to order from us to help our farm stay afloat financially during this difficult time. It has been a challenging month here at the farm. We are currently not allowed to sell any raw dairy products, and it breaks our hearts that the state of Pennsylvania is forcing us to turn so many of you away when you beg us for the food you depend on for your health. This ruling was put in place before our attorney, Robert Barnes, was permitted to make any argument or statement on our behalf. We hope and pray that he will be able to show the court the truth and that we will be able to supply your needs again. Click here to watch Robert Barnes' public statement about the fight to save our farm. The hearing in our case is scheduled for February 29th, 1.30 p.m. before Judge Spawnagle in the Lancaster County Court of Common Pleas, 50 North Duke Street, Lancaster, PA. We invite you all to attend and show your support. Defending against this injunction is going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars with multiple attorneys and legal researchers. If you would like to support our legal case and keep the farm from going under financially during this injunction, please consider donating to this fundraiser, www.givesendgo.com slash support Amos Miller. Thank you all for your prayers and support. With gratitude, Amos, Becky, and everyone at Miller's Organic Farm. Well, there you have it. There's a statement from Amos and Becky and everyone over at Miller's Organic Farm here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And the state is not holding back. This really is a battle of life and death for food freedom, not just in Lancaster County, but in Pennsylvania and across the nation. Will the statist tyrants get their way, or will Amos and the people with him retain the God-given right to feed themselves and their families with the food that they desire, whether or not the state approves of it? This is an issue of fundamental freedom that is at stake here. And as I read there, there's a link to a Robert Barnes video, and the full video is 24 minutes long, but I'd like to play just a three-minute clip of it for you here to get an idea of what Amos Miller's attorney is saying. If you'd like to listen to the full thing, I'll link it here in the description, or you can go over to the YouTube channel, Viva Clips. That's Viva Clips. But here's a three-minute clip of Robert Barnes. This was released just within the last 24 hours, where attorney Robert Barnes is discussing the state of Pennsylvania attacking Amos Miller, not just Amos Miller, attacking the freedom that you and I have to purchase the food we would like to feed our families with. So listen to Robert Barnes here. So this past week, they filed suit in state court, uh, more lies. They are seeking a permanent injunction to prohibit Amos Miller and he, uh, from ever being able to uh, uh, give the, his, his meat, his uh, poultry, his dairy to the customers who need it, to his uh, members. And uh, even it's not clear. Uh, there's aspects of the order that seem to suggest they would like to prohibit him from being able to feed his own family, is what the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture would want, prohibit owners of a farm from feeding themselves uh, and and they have the ongoing right to inspect anybody's fridge anytime they want 
under the scale of the order that they're seeking with Amos, to be able to find out all their associates, affiliates, any individuals that have ever uh, wanted his product, uh, in which they have their own independent First Amendment rights. And then, <clears throat> unsatisfied with that ludicrous demand, they went in ex parte to the judge and got the judge to immediately stop for a month uh, Amos from producing any raw milk products, including in states that are outside of Pennsylvania that they don't even have the authority over, uh, and prohibiting any him from distributing it to anybody effectively. And try and they did so once again because it's what the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture does well by lying to the state court judge. In the interim, he can no longer he, sell. He, he can't sell any raw milk products at, at all. He, I mean, he's completely frozen. I mean, the uh, it, so it's he. Not only that, he has to dump out all the milk products he has. I mean, you're talking about the and not only Amos is a and, and Pennsylvania knew this. He was a distributor. It was he, 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 there's a bunch of Amish farmers that work with him and they know this. So it's a hit on the whole Amish community, right? All of a sudden, everybody is out of money for a month uh, or, or more. And, and they're trying to put them all out of business forever. I mean, that's what their ultimate objective is. They're overt and open about it. Permanent injunction, prohibit him from ever doing, from selling anything, from giving anything. And the order's so broad, it could be misconstrued to mean. Oh, with that you can't even feed yourself. That if you're an owner of a farm, you can't even feed yourself. You can't even feed your family. You can't even give it away. That's how nuts the power they're asserting here. That's why the Amos Miller case is the future of food freedom in America. It, this case will likely decide that. That's how critical and essential this case is. Well, Robert Barnes is exactly correct. The Amos Miller story is the future of food freedom in America. The state of Pennsylvania and the federal government certainly is lurking in the background here, wants nothing more than for not only Amos Miller, but for all the farmers that provide food to him for Amos to sell, the government wants those people to be brought into submission to the nanny state or to be destroyed. And this is about freedom. As Pastor Joel Sain often says, freedom is that state of affairs wherein a man is free to serve Christ and serve his neighbor. Amos Miller has been serving his neighbor for years, and in this lawsuit, there's not one customer bringing a charge against Amos. It is the state of Pennsylvania, the Office of the Attorney General, and the Department of Ag that are coming after Amos Miller, because Amos represents freedom, and the state hates that. You need to understand that the state wants to control us, and they offer us these incentives. You know, we'll educate your children, we'll take care of your health care, but with those with that cheese comes the control of the government. And Amos Miller has been standing against that. And that's what this battle is about. So I encourage you to continue to share this story, to support Amos Miller. Go to the LancasterPatriot.com slash help Amos. You'll find a link there for the Give, Send, Go fundraiser. As Robert Barnes uh, mentioned, I encourage you to watch the full 24 minutes. Go to Viva Clips over on YouTube. Watch the full segment. That was just two small clips from Robert Barnes' talk. Uh, they are hiring more, lawyer, more lawyers. They are hiring legal experts as they are trying to fight this in the courts of Pennsylvania, the, the lawfare that is being waged against Amos. Of course, uh, the whole point of this is to bring him, to pummel him into submission, uh, to make him afraid to lift a finger in service to his neighbors. And this is straight up tyranny and statism. So go to LancasterPatriot.com slash help Amos. Continue to share this information, share the fundraiser, keep spreading the word. And we need to stand with Amos because the state of Pennsylvania, I believe that they are not holding anything back and they will give everything that they have to destroy Amos Miller and prevent him from serving his neighbor. So thank you for listening and please share this and pray for Amos and his family that God would break the teeth of the wicked and the righteous would be allowed to serve Christ and serve their neighbor.